Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. The package of the day is Google Fonts. I really love this package because it gives us access to a huge range of fonts. So go to fonts.google.com, have a browse and pick one that you'd like to use. I'll also link the package below if you want to take a closer look at it, but I can show you right now how to easily implement this into your apps. Now in my main function, I'm running my app, which is running the home page which is a stateless widget and I've just got a blank scaffold in here. Before we write any code, the first thing to do is to go to your pubspec.yaml and go to the dependencies and this is where we're going to add the package. So the package we're adding is called Google Fonts and for the version number, I'm just going to use the latest version as of today. Save it and while that's saving, in the body of the scaffold, let's put a text widget in the middle and see what the default text looks like. Now usually when you want to change the size and color and different aspects of this text, you would specify it in the style. But now if you start typing Google Fonts, you should see the option to import it and that's the package that we just added. So make sure that we've imported it at the top. And if you just have a look at the options, it gives you access to all of these different fonts. So obviously you would go to the official fonts.google.com to see what this would look like. But if I just pick one of these ones, say calligraffiti, that's a cool name. It's like calligraphy and graffiti. I don't even know what this looks like, but let's just pick this and save it. And yeah, you can see it working there. So inside of these brackets, you can specify the usual like font size and colors if you want to change it up. And I remember one of the fonts I was using a lot when I was making games was called Press Start something. Yeah, Press Start 2P. And if I just save this and I change the color to white and the scaffold to a darker gray, this is what it looks like. And it was once I finished my Space Invaders games and other 2D games, the default font wasn't really doing it for me. And so that's why I found this package really useful because this font made my game look like an actual game. But yeah, whatever app you're trying to create, you can use this package and you won't have to worry about fonts because you have access to all of Google's fonts. So that's how you use Google fonts in your Flutter app. Now, one more thing I want to show you how to do before I send you off is if you want to set the default font for the entire app, then you want to go back to the main.dart file and under the material app, you, you can specify this theme and I'll make a separate video just covering theme entirely by itself because there's a lot to cover there but just real quick if you set the text theme and the body text you can let this be the google font that you chose and this way you won't have to specify each individual text widget so if i just get rid of all this i have space invaders with nothing inside the text widget but you can see the default text font is what i want it to be and so if you want to make any changes you can come back to the text theme and change the color and font size and, and all that good jazz so hopefully that was easy to understand. If you have any questions, just let me know below and I'll come around to answer them. But other than that, that's it for this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!